people caring for people. Compassion. That's the foundation Gotham was built on. And I have proudly built Golf Corp on that same foundation. That's why we're called the People Company. Thank you so much. Please. Mr. Boyle seems to be after your title as Gotham's biggest philanthropic industrialist. Gotham needs more people like him. Bruce! Hey. <laughs> I am blown away by your support. It's well deserved. You're going to change the world, Ferris. Hey, we'll change it together, right? Pardon me, Mr. Boyle. The press is waiting. Well, this way, please. I'd say the future is looking hmm. very, very bright for Gotham. Now, it's almost midnight, and you all know what that means. Let's get this New Year's Eve party going with the... Whew. Forget to pay your heating bill, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> afraid of an old man. Uh, Just take it easy. <laughs> Hope that face wasn't worth something. Oh, look at the rich boy. So long, Bruce. This is payback for me. I've been through worse. These are Penguin's men. What do they want with Ferris? I'm not sure. They're being led by someone in a mechanized suit. I need to find Ferris before they do. Well, you're no use to us dressed like that. You need to put on your other suit. The closest entrance to the Batcave is in the study. There's Bruce! He'll help us! Bruce! Bruce, do you have a minute? Someone said an iceberg just appeared, uh, exploded in the ballroom. I need details. What happened? Who do you think- Where's Ferris? They never made it to the interview. Wait, you're not going out there alone, are you? Stay with Alfred. He'll keep you safe. With these guests about, perhaps you should look for that uh, item in the wine cellar. Right. Be careful passing through the library, sir. Penguin's men have infiltrated the entire manor. You keep out of harm's way. No more heroics. These animals don't frighten me. Alfred. You'd better get to the wine cellar before I have to take on Penguin's entire gang myself. Ain't nothing back there except more wine. Bordeaux. Is that expensive? It's not Bordeaux. It's Bordeaux. Oh, sorry. Bordeaux. Is that expensive or what? We're inside Wayne Manor, Douglas. It's all expensive. Look at the rich boy! Come on, Wayne! Sir, if you'd come out of that cave more than once a week, you'd know that the bat cave entrance is in the wine cellar's tasting room. Look for the statue.
Watch yourself in that tunnel, sir. It's still suffering from the damage our visitor did on Christmas Eve. Master Bruce, I caught a glimpse of your mechanized man. These hooligans are calling him Mr. Freeze. You might consider donning your extreme environment suit. The XC suit? It's not ready for deployment. Oh dear, I hear helicopters. More penguin brutes. Do hurry. I don't have time to prep the XC suit for deployment. I'll need Alfred to put the finishing touches on it. I need to get back to the manor and find Ferris before Penguin's men do. Sir, before you ask, the formula we used for your glue grenades was unstable. What was left after Christmas Eve was degraded into dust. Alfred, what happened to the power? Sir, you must hurry. They're setting the manor ablaze. I've managed to get most of the guests into the east and south wings, but... Hey, it's the butler! Alfred. Alfred! signal from Alfred. Silly jade statue, then, and I'm sure your employer will enjoy the hundreds of dollars it will garner on the black market. Hey, old timer, I only need a few hundred to keep things on the ground. Oh, you burned several hundred thousand dollars with the book that never spent your time. But by all means, you will get one. Think he's right about these books? Hell no. Look how old they are. They're practically falling apart. Good point. Thinks he can trick us out of fence in this statue. I bet you it's worth it now. Help! Help! Who is that? Please, the crest is blocking the way out. You have to move it so we can escape. This way. That was amazing. You just picked those goons apart. Shh, quiet. They've got Ferris Boyle in the next room. I, I think they're going to kill him. Sir, are you all right? Thanks to you. The hero of Christmas Eve come to rescue us from the... Can I trust you'll get these people to safety? Um, of course. Now that you've dealt with most of these hooligans... You should restore power to your sprinkler system to deal with these fires. Not to worry. I won't allow Wayne Manor to burn to the ground. Thank you for the rescue. But I believe the young miss said that Mr. Boyle needs you. Are you here to stop these maniacs? So are you here to stop? This Mr. Freeze, save Ferris Boyle? You know, you really should do an exclusive with me. The people want to know what you're all about. I've got more important things to do. This is important. You've become a hot issue for this city. You need to state for the record what you're trying to accomplish. My actions state that loud and clear. What could this man possibly want from Ferris? He's such a... Stop Boyle. Come in. 
Don't do this. We need to get you out of here. I... I heard about you. I have no quarrel with you. Then you crashed the wrong party. Freeze? What do you want with me? I just require a moment of your time. Let me go! Help! Help me! He's a machine! Watch him! Looks like Freeze isn't the only one with a cryogenic weapon. This door is frozen shut. I'll need to enter the ballroom through the balcony. Freeze is gone. One of Penguin's goons will know where that chopper's going. How the hell did that get here so fast? It don't matter. One of the arts! The best! <laughs> Where is he taking Ferris? I, I don't know. I promise! Do you have any idea how many of your friends I sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve? Look, one of Penguin's dealers. He stole one out the weapons Freeze gave us. He must know. We were supposed to meet up in South Gotham. You can meet up in the emergency room instead. Someone like Ferris Boyle. It's sickening. I know you'll bring him to justice, sir. I'll see this one wheeled into Blackgate on a gurney. A2 dispatch, confirming that code 3. Looks like these anarchy fanatics are taking advantage of the lack of police presence down here. Roger, A2. Continue to monitor. Do not engage without backup. <laughs> no chance of that. I should deal with those anarchy followers. But first I need to track down Penguin's dealer and find out where Freeze has taken Ferris. Come on, get up! Finding Penguin's dealer is the key to finding Freeze. I should scan this area for clues that might tell me where he went. Whatever this substance is, it's slowly shutting his systems down. Putting him into cryostasis, I won't be able to safely remove him from the ice without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. The officer just chanced upon Penguin's men. He wasn't equipped to deal with this cryotech, but the cryo gun was leaking. If I hurry, this trail will lead me right to Penguin's men. Then I can make them tell me where this tech came from. Alfred, Penguin's men are using cryogenic weapons to encase innocent people in ice. I'm going to need the thermal gloves and the XC suit to break them free. I'll get to work immediately, sir. Any idea where these weapons are coming from? I'll get that answer when I catch up with Penguin's dealer. Okay, I... Where 
Empires freeze. You think I know? You plan on celebrating the new year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. Weapons in exchange for some stiff. Uh, uh, Theris Boyle. He's in Gothcorp last I saw. You're lying. Gothcorp doesn't make weapons. What? No, I... Uh... Goth Corp, I swear! Look, I've got the entry codes! I'll take those. It doesn't make sense. Goth Corp involved in weapons tech. There's got to be more to this. This goes oh. sideways. You come on it. Should think, boss. men were armed. How'd you do that? Where are they taking Ferris? Mr. Boyle? They, uh, they're heading to the propellant research wing. These guys have been raiding the whole facility. Do you have the codes to this security door? No, I don't have clearance. But my boss does. A bunch of them took him to the organics lab, through the lobby. I'll make sure they don't hurt your boss. Get yourself to safety. Holy crap! I saw you on GNN! You just saved my life! You have codes I need to access the propellant research wing. I do. Here. Take them. You're going to save Mr. Boyle, right? It's not safe inside Gothcorp. You need to get out of here. Don't worry. I won't be hanging around. And, uh, thanks, you know? Not just for me. For Gotham. Alfred, how's work on the XC suit coming? Slowly, sir. I'm encountering ice formations impeding my progress. The thermal gloves would certainly help you with that. I'm working as quickly as I can. Keep me posted. this entire room. Oh, I know you won't. Boyle's got the code you need. And I ain't giving him up. Let's all get what he's giving you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I'm interested in is the weapons I was promised. I know you're holding out on me. This will not end well for you, Commonwealth. <laughs> oh, I think you're confused about what exactly is about to happen. As soon as you show us that big fishbowl, my boys will blow it open. And if that doesn't work, I'll be sure to blow your princess too. Right out of Mr. Boyle is ready! You've got me, Mr. Thomas. Getting what I was promised ain't got nothing to do with getting what I want. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. Bloody hell. You're supposed to be the genius, aren't you? And you think you can outmuscle me? Have a look around! This was not the deal we made! Yes!
chance to let him go. Brats are meaningless to a man who has lost everything. <laughs> After. Why does he need Boyle? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gawthorpe has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill. A cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still at my alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I'd better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. Oi! He got me! Where'd you come from? That was incredible! Come with me. I'm getting you out of here. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. But isn't Freeze gonna try to stop you? With any luck. Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the Batwing drop it there. It's on its way. Sir, I'm detecting a group of armed men outside my alibi. I suggest you secure the area before I initiate the drop. He can't stop that guy! XC suit drop incoming, sir. Gloves should help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir, and the suit will provide protection from cold and cryo vapor. I just hope its bulk won't slow you down. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. Listen, we ain't going nowhere until you talk. You stole a cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah, but it ain't here. Penguin said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. Assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. The Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Gothcorp now. There's more going on here than a simple accident. 
This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. here. I should scan for more evidence. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo vapors from the resulting explosion. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea, but this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryoweapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. 
Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The super coolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Alfred, send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Goth Corp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. You know what I'm gonna do when I get out of here? I'm gonna have Candy pour me a nice hot bath. They're not gonna drown you in it! Uh, I'm trying, boss. This ice is tough. Oh, you completely get under my own way for a personal invitation! Come on, Batman. Uh, you got the price, yeah? Name it. It's yours. You, you're gonna get me on this damn iceberg. You're good right where you are. But, but you can't leave me here. I'll freeze to death. Not my problem. Oh, so you come back to gloat, have you? Oh, I'll hang you with that bloody cape. You hear me? Let's be reasonable. You're not gonna let me die. Are you? And so will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident. You don't know what you're talking about. What? Nothing matters. Do you understand? Nothing but my Nora. You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. What she wants is to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. But because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. Where are the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain. So you need to find the control panels for those cryogenerators and disable them. Can't you see that we are alike, Batman? Both doing what we must for what is right? Focus, damn you! Stay out of my way! Cryogenic 3. Over. 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 Over.
not test my patience. Yes, Child's call. See how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs. Underneath him, I can take him from below. shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business. And here I thought I was going to have a problem explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. Yeah. And that just leaves you. Please. You can save her. You just have to buy past the fire from the Victor! She died! Oh. I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! Go! Oh. <sighs> 